When is a scooter an adventure bike? When it's an adventure crossover, of course. That's how Kimco describes its new DTX360. So let's see if there's some substance to back the claim. The new Kimco DTX360 is based on the Taiwanese manufacturer's Downtown 350i Maxi Scooter, but with revised ergonomics and dual-purpose tyres to handle some light off-road work. The handlebars are wider, giving greater leverage, while the seat height is 25mm higher, but the 321cc single-cylinder engine and CVT auto transmission remain unchanged. The chassis, suspension and wheels also carry over but the bodywork is new and so is the smaller adventure-style screen, while the DTX360 is only available in this unique orange and black colour scheme. As for safety and tech, there's ABS and traction control as standard, along with full LED lighting, colour LCD instrumentation and keyless push-button starting, plus a USB charging outlet. On the road, the auto transmission and the low centre of gravity make the DTX360 supremely easy to ride. The single cylinder engine is willing and delivers brisk if unintimidating acceleration from a standing start. The DTX360 maintains open road speeds with ease, although highway overtakes do require a planned approach and demand a fair margin for safety. The suspension is fairly basic, with adjustment limited to preload on the rear shocks, but it does a proficient job of soaking up the bumps on the tarmac. There's good cornering clearance and it's easy to tip on its ear through the bends. Actually, it's a hoot in the corners, as we discovered in the hills behind Victoria's Great Ocean Road. Although we'd prefer the extra power of a twin-disc front brake arrangement, the single-disc stopper does a perfectly good job given this scooter's brief. As for off-road, well, the DTX360 really isn't very different from the downtown 350i, the traditional maxi scooter on which it's based. The wider handlebar and higher stance do help on a loose surface, the traction control is switchable, and the full-time ABS is actually nicely calibrated and still affords reasonable braking power even on a loose surface. Really though, for dirt roads, this scooter is perfectly competent. It's actually a lot of fun, although I still managed to find the scooters and my own limits when I lost the front end on a wet and slippery section of track. Turns out the Kimco slides a lot better than I do, but with plenty of practicality, decent weather protection, reasonable fuel economy and a generous 12.5 litre fuel tank, this is a handy tool for covering distance in comfort. You could tour on this scooter, no problem. Downsides, the cockpit is on the compact side, although it's fine for anyone up to average height, and the underseat storage isn't huge by maxi scooter standards. And a couple of crash protectors wouldn't hurt either, if you are intending to spend any significant amount of time off-road, just to protect all that bodywork. This isn't a serious single track warrior, but if you do want to explore a little beyond the bitumen, the Kimco DTX360 is a fun and entertaining package. As a maxi scooter with a broader scope than most, the Kimco DTX360 has plenty of appeal and all for a realistic price.